People often say that AI is the next industrial revolution, but we're just at the beginning. Researchers all over the world are inventing the future through AI right now. AI gives us new tools to help people get that work done. This means that AI is transforming every industry from telecommunications to agriculture to healthcare and beyond. We made the DGX Superbot so that we can power our own research and development. We needed a big AI infrastructure to solve the biggest AI challenges of humanity. Usually when supercomputers are built, people view these things taking months to come online. And we wanted something that could be built and deployed in weeks. The way that you approach doing big iron AI, these massive models, is you have to build one of the best HPC supercomputers in the world. For our cluster, that's the number 22 supercomputer in the world. And that actually shocked a lot of people. The fact that we could take available equipment and not even that many nodes, pile them together and end up with a number 22 entry still surprises people. We made DGX SuperPod because people need to train huge models on huge data sets to get the best possible AI. Some of the biggest models being used right now are in language modeling. For example, the BERT model, which is being used for a lot of tasks like question answering. Those models are very large and require a lot of resources to train. Setting up all that infrastructure can be difficult. DGX SuperPod makes it a lot simpler. DGX SuperPod is comprised of 64 DGX2s, which represents 1,024 NVIDIA V100 Tensor Core GPUs, which is good for 128 petaflops of AI performance. It's all interconnected with a terabit Mellanox and Finiband network. It runs standard NGC containers using Slurm to issue those containers, and it's the fastest AI system that you can buy. To get really good performance in AI applications requires not just great hardware like a DGX SuperPod, but also amazing software. NVIDIA has several thousand employees that are working to develop libraries to support all of the major frameworks and to very fine tune the inner workings of our AI software. So we get amazing performance on all of these AI benchmarks. And what's more is our performance improves over time. Over a seven month period on exactly the same hardware, we improve the performance of the heavyweight object detection benchmark, mask RCNN, by 80%. So when you get a DGX SuperPod, you're not only getting great hardware, you're getting amazing software and you're getting performance that will continue to improve as our software gets better. We systemize the supercomputer for AI, and basically it's not a science project anymore. Anybody can get one and be running in weeks. It's a top 25 class supercomputer, so any researcher has performance at their fingertips. So you have an AI infrastructure for the AI-powered world. We've seen that the biggest models on the biggest data sets lead to the best results. Over the past 10 years of AI, that's always been true. And because of this, companies that are inventing the future of AI view computing as a strategic resource. It's necessary in order to invent the best possible AI.